Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. It's been a hot minute since we actually done a standalone video, but if you are actually really excited about this video and other content coming up during Prime Gaming Fest, I would appreciate it if you would drop a subscription uh, because we just have a lot going on and I, I really like uh, to make sure you don't miss any of it. Maybe hit that notification bell as well. Now, a big thing I actually want to get into right now, and this is something that I've been in debating internally for some time, is when is Nintendo going to have their Nintendo Direct this month? Uh, are they even going to have one? And you guys can see the title. There is a fresh rumor out there about a Nintendo Direct coming from an unlikely place and one where they're sort of putting their reputation behind it. Uh, there's one minor red flag about it, and we'll, we'll get into that, of course, but that, that red flag is more a speculative red flag than anything. Um, so we're talking about a Nintendo Direct, and according to Zach from Switch Force, there will be a Nintendo Direct next week. He's, he's saying this with 99.9% .9 confidence, and he's not just saying this as a speculative, hey, look at all the dates of pre previous Directs, 11, 12, 13, 15th, hey, the 14th happens to be missing. But he's not just saying that because of history, right? We can look at the history of Nintendo Directs in June and pretty much find a, a pretty consistent pattern of the second or third Tuesday of every single June. But what he's actually pointing out is he has direct sources that know when the Direct is. Now, he won't get into who these sources are. Maybe they happen to work at Nintendo, and that's one reason why he can't get into it. But he said he has independently verified these sources and verified their information and can say with 99.9% .9 confidence that there will be a Nintendo Direct next week. Now, he hasn't told us which exact day. Uh, he kind of hinted that maybe he dropped hints throughout his video on when it might be, but uh, everyone seems to be interpreting those hints as different days. Everything from the 14th, 15th to the 16th, which by the way, Nintendo basically does directs on Tuesday, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. So take that for what you will. You can also argue that him showing the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 15th is obviously hinting at Tuesday, since all of those are Tuesdays. Nintendo's always done them on Tuesdays in June, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, nobody really knows. Obviously, I already took my shot in the dark, and that's why Prime Gaming Fest runs until the 14th. But even if the Direct happens on the 15th or 16th, I will be right here live reacting with you guys. It's just if it's on the 16th, we also get to have Eric and have all of our additional conversations and giveaways built around it. We do have an event already on the 14th because Xbox is doing a gameplay showcase for about 90 minutes that day. So we already have something to react to on the 14th, but it would be great if we could also have a Nintendo Direct as well. Heck, Capcom said they're going on the 13th, so we even have a Capcom showcase to react to. So there's a lot of stuff happening over the next week. Uh, starting to today, I guess, uh, technically yesterday, I guess we had uh, Limited Run Games uh, do their showcase yesterday that I was planning to live react to. Uh, I just happened to not be home at the time. And today, we actually have a Sonic uh, showcase going on and I will actually be live streaming that in fact I got to kind of hurry up this video to get it out before then so what I actually wanted to go here and, and throw this out there and, and what the red flag was with what Zach said it's in his title he puts the word rumor in his title and if you watch switch force you'll know that when he's reporting on other people's stuff he doesn't really throw the word rumor into all of his titles. Sometimes um, he just heavily hints that something's coming, like, oh, you know, Donkey Kong. Uh, hey, we just might be getting a new Donkey Kong game. And that just might gives him the excuse to say, I'm not saying we are, but we may, uh, or it'll be like big news or whatever. But this time when he's the source, he put rumor, which is actually the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. You put rumor on things that don't come from you, but if they do come from you and you're 99.9% .9 confident in your source, you don't call it a rumor. You just say, hey, we know when the next Nintendo Direct is, which is what the rest of his title says. Uh, I, I find that to be kind of a baffling conundrum. I can also point out that I don't think that Zach has ever had any history in actual journalism, so he might not know what the proper etiquette is when you're the direct source. You don't put rumor in the title. When other people are reporting on you as the source, they put rumor in the title. It's kind of a, a weird thing, and I think this is just comes down from Zach's uh, lack of uh, ability uh, or lack of not lack of ability, lack of experience in the gaming journalism world or journalism in general. Uh, I will note that it, you know he seems to be getting a generally positive reaction from people putting rumor in the title, uh, but I find it 
a little bit ironic to call it a rumor on his end when he's the source and he claims to know. Almost like he's covering for himself. That's kind of the red flag that I see there, that maybe he's covering all his bases and be like, hey, what if this isn't true? I don't want to get roasted. You, can, you said 99.9% .9 confident, confident that this is real. So it is what it is. I think next week is obviously always a safe bet regardless uh, because, yeah, the 14th happens to come around the 11th, 12th, 13th, 15th, 18th. Like it's, It kind of falls in that range when Nintendo is usually doing directs. It also happens to be the second Tuesday. It also happens to be after Xbox and all the other major players are gone. Uh, so it kind of fits with Nintendo sort of capping all of the all of the events although guess what there are game companies going now in july and you know it, this is just the way it's going to be when you don't have a centralized event uh like e3 to really build things around where you have an in-person demo showcase people don't have to necessarily show their games off at this time period they're going to be kind of spread throughout the summer anyways i wouldn't be surprised if an ubisoft forward comes out in like august or something just just because whereas if there was an in-person e3 this year with demos ubisoft would be more likely to go now because they got demos they got up you know advertise and pub up so that's neither here nor there i think this is a very very interesting way to go about things and i do think that there is a very positive uh correlation to nintendo directs next week compared to nintendo in the past we could speculate over and over again on what's going to be in this direct obviously i think recaps of all of nintendo's major upcoming games in Blade three bayonetta maybe we even get a date for bayonetta finally uh some footage on splatoon 3 as well uh maybe a new fresh announcement for the holiday season i know rumors are out there for a one two switch sequel that people seem to not be excited about which i find interesting because one two switch is a party game and i know people to this day that are still playing it uh so i don't really understand the problem if you aren't into those kind of party games and it wouldn't be exciting for you but it's going to be exciting for some like nintendo makes games for everyone and i i feel like obviously when we enjoy certain games like breath of the wild or mario odyssey like we kind of focus in on that stuff but i, I think it's important that nintendo continues to release games for everybody you know ring fit adventure adventure basically got zero pub when it came out and now it's one of the most important titles on switch one of the most consistent evergreen titles on switch and now everybody seems to respect it uh, whereas, you know, because one, two switch felt like it should have been a packing game, uh, that it's a problem. Like, you know, Wii sports was a packing game. It didn't stop us from buying Wii sports resort. Although it being a packing game obviously helped its popularity. So anyways, I don't know what we're going to see guys. Honestly, the rumors are, are flying out there on all these different games, whether there's Donkey Kong, Metro Prime Remake, Oracle Remakes, uh, Twilight Princess, uh, um, HD, Windmaker HD. I don't know, guys. Uh, your guess is literally as good as mine. We'll get into more on uh, Nintendo Direct speculation and expectations during Prime Gaming Fest from June 9th through June 14th. It's a massive giveaway event combined with reacting to all of the game announcements live as they happen, combined with a lot of gaming competitions, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Tournament, Eric and Nate versus each other. We're going to play each other in Nintendo Switch Sports. We're also going to play each other in Mario Strikers. We're also going to do other uh, little fun contests, a little bit of Nintendo Drink Pong and some other things that are going to be happening we're going to be spinning a wheel of death punishment you guys will have to tune in to see what that's all about it's supposed to be really 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 entertaining we even have backup games uh for our backup games in case we need to fill in a little bit more time but you guys know me i can fill in time just by shooting the shit so i love you guys i will see you guys uh at prime gaming fest in fact hopefully i'll see a bunch of you guys at our sonic central live reaction today you guys are amazing and awesome don't forget that we'll catch you later